Hello YouTubers and YouTube viewers, my name is Connor Daniels, or Deliriously Epic, whichever one you prefer to call me, and today I get to be showing you guys another awesome LEGO creation, and probably the last gun I will be building from Black Ops 2 in quite a while, but anyways, this is the Tricom CQB, which is the only 3 round burst weapon in its class, which is the SMG class, and I actually have never built an SMG and put it on my channel. I have built SMGs in the past, but they were never posted on this channel. And, uh, well, this is the first one, especially because it's actually kind of fun to build some smaller weapons. But anyways, here's the weapon I'll be showing off. So as always, I love to start on the bolt itself, which is always my favorite part on every single gun I come across. Just because each bolt looks unique, has a different feel, a different mechanism, a different way of working, and a, just a different everything. The check arm here has the bolt on the left side of the gun and the ejection port behind it on the right side of the gun. And it was, I'm going to admit, it's a little bit challenging to build at first, but it all kind of came across perfectly. And also, what I'm going to be telling you guys next is a little challenging to say, but I'm hopefully I can get it across so you guys know what I'm meaning. Now, so here it is. The bullet that you see inside the clip, well, the way the bullets are loaded into the clip is actually extremely helpful because I can actually put the bullet on the left side of the clip and have the ejection port on the right side of the gun so it kind of just crisscrosses and it doesn't bother each other so they can both kind of function easily with the bullet, the bullet the clip can go in and the ejection port can slide so it's kind of interesting now here's the clip itself and a little information about it and the tall clip that you see on the top that's what's on the left side of the gun and the bottom the bottom bullet is actually what the ejection port slides on so it's kind of like a win-win for both parts of the gun but I'm going to just move on to the next part before I start tripping up more and more and so here we go so something I do on like every single gun of mine is build, you know, a functioning trigger, fire selector, bolt with its injection port, but something I don't really do often is build a flashlight. And that's because, well, some guns just don't look normal with a flashlight. It, sometimes it looks out of place, but the Chicom CQB has a built-in flashlight on the top. So if you didn't know what that thing was, it's actually a flashlight. And uh, it's it kind of sits right in between the tactical railing and also the handle. That's actually a handle on the top, believe it or not. I can't really show that it's a handle because it's not sturdy enough, obviously. So here's the flashlight in the dark, and you can just see the outline of the gun. You can see the little screws and, um, you know, the, tack, the, the bolt and stuff like that. And uh, let there be light. So here we go. Now, back to the light and back to the gun. I built some attachments, so let me go ahead and grab those. And mm, we had the suppressor with that red dot sight. Perfect combo. Um, now, uh, I would have the attachment select fire on, but uh, I think we all know exactly why. Uh, I didn't really point that out because I pointed out in the beginning of the video. And for some reason, I can't put that suppressor back on when I recorded it. That's the curse of taking it off. But here's the red dot sight. You can see through it. And um, it kind of looks cool, you know? You know what I mean? That's why I put it in, it, so it looked cool. And it actually replaces the top sight, or the handle. And um, so, yeah. I'm not sure why I turned the gun around here. I, I maybe just get a different view of the red dot sight. I think that's what I was trying to do. And uh, here's the little knob that kind of turns in sections. And uh, that kind of adjusts your uh, red dot sight and the power. So here's the a bullet I made, and what I'm going to demonstrate here is the fact that the barrel is actually hollow. So you can actually throw the bullet down the barrel, and it'll, you'll be able to see it through the ejection port right about here. There you go. So it falls out the bottom, and I, I kind of held the bolt back. And But anyways, lastly, all I can say about this weapon is just it looks amazing. It was fun to build. And it's probably my last Black Ops 2 weapon for a while, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Here's the outro, and I'll see you guys later.